So Sikulu the spider, Sikulu is a name, the South African name. I, I came across the name in a play. There's a wonderful play that uh, ran for several years all across Africa and Europe. It was called Sikulu the Warrior. And it's a play, a show about this, uh, this individual who's looking for his father, Sikulu the Warrior. Sikulu the Warrior has been missing for some time and this, his son is going all over looking for him. And the, the name stuck with me. I, I, I saw this play maybe 15, 20 years ago, but I still remember. I still remember the name. So when, when, when I was creating this story, I said I would name the spider Sikulu. Uh, Harambe is a Swahili word that means let's come together, come together as one, Harambe. It's, it's meant to imply unity and I just love that concept and I think it appeals to children as well. So that's where Harambe the hippo comes from, the hippopotamus uh, comes from. At the back of the book we include some information. There's a section where we ask the kids what did they get from the story? What's the moral of the story? Do they remember a time when someone helped them or someone didn't help them? Or do they remember a time when they were in need of help and no one helped? Because I, I remember being told stories by my dad, my uncles, my mom, aunts, in, in the Nigerian context and in the African context. And I, I really think really around the world, after the story is narrated, there's, there's an interactive session back and forth between the adult and the children. Well, what did this mean? Why did this character do this? What would you have done if you were this character? And that's how we learned. That's how we learned. We, 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 we received our character. That's where you learned your positive values. That's where they came from. So we included that section. And then there's a little bit of information about the animals, some factual information about the elephants and maybe little things like you knowing that the elephant is a really good swimmer. I didn't realize that until I was doing some research for the book, but there's information, tidbits of information that we put, we include at the back of the book. We devote a page to the Kuwambaka ceremony. In, in doing all this, what we're trying to do is bring Africa, the beauty of Africa, to life and just bring that so that children have that. I am the sort of child that w when I was learning, I, I have a vivid imagination and I can't focus on only one thing at, 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 at a given time, but my mind goes to many different places. So in, in writing the book, it's a lovely story, but I'm thinking, well, what, what do elephants do? Do they sleep? Do they sleep standing up? Do they sit down? How often do they take their baths? You know, all sorts of questions. So. I included some of that information because I believe children think in that manner and uh, I, I want them to, to get as much as possible from this book. The book is, uh, I think, will be appreciated most by seven and eight year olds. They, they can read the book on their own and really appreciate the story. But the younger children will, um, will enjoy the story being told to them as well. And it's just, uh, so far I think, I think children will enjoy it for sure.